Jack Hodges found the dog tag about 10 years ago when he moved to Blessing, Texas. He met a gentleman and told him that he had found dog tags and the gentleman said, well, I have a niece who works in Washington, D.C. Let me have the dog tag and I'll scan it to her and see what we can come up with. So um, after five years of research, um, they found that he was from Ohio and lived in Mainville. And so the, the niece, Gail, called the Warren County Historical Society and asked for burial records. Well, he's not buried in, in Mainville, he's buried in um, Spring Grove. But um, through the Historical Society um, at Warren County, um, she learned that there was a professor, Wesley Vordenberg, at Xavier University. So she contacted Xavier University and they put her in touch with Joe Wesling, who was um, a co-worker of my dad's, and Joe gave them my phone number. So it was a five-year search for Gail, who is the niece, and a 10-year search for Jack Hodges, who actually found the, the dog tags. The strange part of the story is that I was a, I'm a stage manager for community theater, and I had just finished doing Miss Saigon, and the one of the cast members had given all, all of his dog tags and I wore mine home the last night of the show or the, sh the last show and um, three days later I got a call from Gail that she had found my father's dog tags 